So a little bit different from the track versions would be the lanes function. The lanes function allows you to record multiple times on one track. So if you set up, for example, a loop and you select an audio track and you press record, it will start recording and at the end of your loop the recording stops, jumps to the beginning again, creates a new lane, starts recording again until the end, jumps to the beginning, creates a new lane and so on and so on. So that is a good idea to work with if you are alone and you don't want to constantly run from your instrument to your computer, you could set up a loop, probably use the punch functions, let it start a little early and end a little later. And then the computer will record constantly. You activate your click and you can concentrate on playing. If the recording is over, it stops. If it hits the end of the loop, it jumps to the beginning again. You know you have one bar left as a count in. The recording starts again, stops and so on and so on. That helps you concentrate on making music and you don't have to worry a lot about your computer starting and stopping the recording. So afterwards you have recorded your part once you recorded it a second and a third time and you were happy with your recording. If not, you do it a fourth time or delete one or so on and so on. So let's say you played it three times and you were really happy with these three. You played the whole song through, but you made some maybe tiny mistakes or not even mistakes. Some parts were just better than others. For that reason, the lanes function has a comping tool. It looks like this and you would just Listen by hovering over your tracks and pressing command. These I have also explained in my key commands and shortcuts video. So you could, for example, listen to one part on the second and the same part on the third and the same part on the first recording and then you decide which one you think is best. You choose your comping tool, select the range on the track you want to, and the other two get automatically muted. Of course, you can just use your normal play function as well, but I think the listening function with command is really practical because otherwise you have to go back, listen to that, play it, go back, listen to that, play it and so on. And it's not very efficient. So you use your command key you listen to the different versions that you recorded on your lanes, take the part you think is best, you mark it with your comping tool and it gets selected. 
and the other muted. You can, of course, afterwards by clicking on it, change that. So if you selected one part and think maybe I want to try the other one as well, just click on it and then have that one selected or muted with this you can comp the perfect track for you you select from your three lanes the parts you think were best and put them together like so. You can of course show and hide your lanes by clicking the lanes button and if you close it Cubase will show you that here are lanes. So a normal track without lanes looks like this. Different lanes on top of each other look like this. And you will get another function as well. You see here in the middle there is nothing, but here in the middle there is a little triangle. And if I click it, it will show me how many lanes I have on top of each other. And the little star indicates which one is selected. So if I want to change it and select another one, I can do so by just clicking on it. Like this, I can try out different versions even without going to my lanes function. So afterwards, if you are then sure that you like this version, you would save your project and delete maybe the ones you don't need anymore and go here right click and select rearrange my lanes and what that did is it put all the different parts that I selected before because I like them it puts these parts on one final lane and then I could go like I select them I put little crossfades on them and I would have one track that I can use and work with. So you can see here I have also lanes above each other but they are overlapping and in the end you don't want that. Also you can't use the rearrange function for your lanes because overlapping events on lanes is not possible with this function. Therefore you would use another function first and it is the audio no overlapping function and this one removes the overlapping events and if I now use rearrange they can be put on one track as well. So one more thing that is interesting for the lanes is you can create track versions out of your lanes. So if you have a track selected and you go to track versions, you can create versions from your lanes. So you see from this track with different lanes on it, I created a track version 
with just the first lane. So that was the first lane that was converted into a new track version. And that is the second lane also converted and the fourth also converted into a new track version. These were these before, so they were lanes and I now have track versions. So with track versions and lanes, you can be very creative and effective and you can combine and comp and try out different recordings and material and arrangements without having to put in new tracks or it won't get very messy so your track versions you can comp them to your perfect track you can hide them you could also like i showed before you would combine them to a perfect track and that will give you in the end the best solution for the audio or MIDI data you're working on.